this video, we're going to cover the XLOOKUP function in Google Sheets. This is a new function that was recently added to Google Sheets, and it's a very powerful function. It's like a better version of the VLOOKUP function with more options such as right to left searches. You can also do wildcard searches, display custom error messages. You can pull back multiple columns, just to name a few. So in this first example, we're going to perform the X lookup to pull back more than one column in our results. So you can see we have a list of orders. We have order ID, order date, and order amount. So we're going to perform an X lookup based on this order ID number here. So the first input is our search key. That's going to be our search value in this cell here. Our lookup range is going to be our lookup column, which is column A. And the next input is our result range. And the nice thing about this is it's separate from our lookup range. So we can pull back more than one column. And that's what we want to do. So we're going to pull back columns B and C. These next inputs are all optional you can designate a missing value message, like an error message, if a value is not found. We could input something like not found. We can do different types of match modes. By default, it's an exact match, but we can also do the first value greater than a number, the first value less than a number. We can do wildcard searches. This final input is the search mode, and we can do searches from top to bottom or bottom to top to find the last match of a search value. As I said, they're optional, so I think we have everything we need for now. So I'm just going to hit enter, and you can see this pulls back the last item in our list for that order ID number and it pulls back both the columns in one strike. So if I input a different number, let's see, you can see it updates automatically and pulls back both of those columns. Now if I input a number that is not on this lookup column, it'll display our custom error message not found. So in this next example, we want to perform a lookup from left to right. So I have a data set of loans, and the last column on the right is the loan ID number that we're going to use to perform the lookup on. So we want to pull back columns A through C in our results over here. So we're going to insert the X lookup. Our search key is going to be our loan ID number in this cell. Our lookup range is the last column here, column D. And then our results range is going to be columns A through C. And you can see this pulls back the records in columns A through C for that loan ID that we performed the lookup on. So in this next example, we're going to use the X lookup to perform a search to find the last match of a search value. So in this next example, we have a list of client payment history, and you can see the more recent payments are at the bottom, and we have multiple payments from each client, and we want to pull back the most recent payment made for a particular client. So I'm going to insert the X lookup. Our search key is going to be Nix LLC in this cell. Our lookup range is going to be this first column with the client names. The results range is going to be columns B through C or D, sorry. These next two optional arguments we do not need, so I'm just going to skip over them by inputting a comma until we get to our search mode. And here, what we want to input is a negative one to perform the search from last to first. 
So you can see this pulls back the last match that is found for that particular client in our list. In this final example, we're going to use the XLOOKUP function to perform a wildcard search. So you can see I have a list of inventory items. And in the first column, we have inventory ID number, which has two uppercase letters to begin with, followed by a dash and a series of numbers. So in this first example, we're just going to search on the first two characters. So our search key is going to be the value in E2, and then we're going to use the AND symbol to concatenate this to a star for anything that begins with the letters BB and anything after that. Our lookup range is going to be column A that contains our inventory ID numbers. Our results range is going to be columns B and C. I'm going to skip over this optional argument, so I'm going to add a comma, and then now we come to our match mode, and here what we want is a wildcard match, so we're going to enter 2 here, and that will be everything we need, so I'll hit enter, and you can see that pulls back that particular item that begins with BB. So we can do other types of searches here so if we wanted to change our search value to something else like a sequence of characters for example we have two items in our inventory that begin with the letters D and B but after that there is a dash and three digits and a dash on one and then a dash and two digits and a dash on the other so we could input something like this and question marks represent any single character so if we wanted to input something like that you can see it pulls back the records for this final item if we change this to just two characters between the dashes we get the results for this line item here well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe